My name is Gary Clark Jr. I'm from Austin, Texas, and I play guitar and sing songs. Well, I didn't know about that Austin was known as the live music capital of the world until I got older. I was like 14, 15. Before that, I was listening to my parents' records and stuff that my friends were listening to. It was like Motown, Soul stuff, uh, Stax, um, and then Nirvana and Green Day, Sublime, or like Tupac and Biggie or whatever. Um, so that's what I grew up around. When I first got my guitar, I would take it everywhere with me, I like to parties, to go hang out with friends and play badly. They were somewhat encouraging, you know, sometimes they would tell me like, why don't you just leave that thing at home? But if you're a guitar player or a, a musician or whatever you love to do and there's like a, an instrument or something involved that people outside of that don't understand. <laughs> I don't know, I've never had to describe my relationship with my guitar. We're close. The one that's laying on the ground as if I don't care about it is my favorite guitar. It's my um, Red Epiphone Casino. It's been with me for many years. Well, I don't feel like I've changed a lot. Um, just things around me are changing, but it's cool. It's good to have people expect things from you, especially good things, but I try not to wrap my head around it too much. I just, I'm, I play music, I'm doing this now because you know, I love to do, I will always do it no matter what. So um, I have expectations for myself and that's kind of how I gauge, you know, what, what I'm doing. Performing with the band, I am not a perfectionist. That's kind of what I love about performing is just being in the moment. Like those two hours that we have is kind of reflective on life. Like you just kind of roll with it and you might make mistakes, but you pick yourself back up and you just keep going. And having the freedom to do that on stage is, is um, it's, it's kind of a nice feeling, you know? You just get up there and let everything go. Don't think about it too much. I went to, I got to New York and I was pretty young and I just saw there's like this different vibe. It's like this quick paced, you know, hustle. Like people are going to get work and going to do things and like, you know, they actually make stuff happen. I come from a slower paced town, you know, people are just kind of like, eh, you know. My intention was to go up there and hang out and meet people and you know, have a good time, and I had a little bit too much fun and just realized that, like, you know, if you mess up or you slip up, you know, there's, the world keeps going without you, so, you know, try and get on your, whatever goals or whatever aspirations, like, you, you gotta be the one to make it happen, otherwise, you know, it won't happen for you. So I was just inspired by New York. Right? The bottle ended up with the bottle the artist I would like to collaborate with in the future, I would have to say, and this is like, shooting way high, but um, Prince, maybe. It doesn't even have to be a collaboration. I just want to see him work in the studio. He's a genius, so I like to know how that works. <laughs> maybe I could learn something. What makes me truly happy? Um, wow. I guess I would have to say um, being home with, with family, just kind of hanging out. It's, the more that I 
leave, the more that I appreciate home, you know? Ooh.